What is righteousness? We hear this word a lot in the Bible. Let's find out what scripture says it means. Deuteronomy 4.8, Moses said, Or what great nation is there that has statutes and judgments, as righteous as this whole Torah which I am setting before you today? Deuteronomy 6.25, And it will be righteousness for you if you are careful to observe all this commandment before Yahweh our Elohim, just as He commanded us. The Torah is the perfect definition of righteousness. Practicing the Torah is practicing righteousness. Righteousness in Hebrew is tzaddik, which means to be blameless, innocent, just, a righteous one, one who is right. Psalm 119 verse 172. Let my tongue sing thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Yeshua obeyed the Torah and is the one perfect example of living in righteousness. And today Yeshua tells us to do the same. Follow Yahweh's Torah and you will be practicing righteousness. Matthew 6, 33, Yeshua said, but first seek the kingdom and his righteousness, his Torah, and all these things shall be added to you. Let's look at the opposite real quick. What is unrighteousness and wickedness? 1 John 5.17 All unrighteousness is sin. Romans 1.29 Being filled with all unrighteousness, wickedness, greed, evil, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, malice, gossip. You get the idea. Wickedness and unrighteousness is sinfulness, the disobedience of the Torah. Yeshua's first comment to John when getting baptized was this, Matthew 3, verse 13 through 15. Then Yeshua arrived from Galilee at the Jordan, coming to John to be baptized by him. But John tried to prevent him, saying, I have need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Yeshua answering said to him, Permit it at this time, for in this way it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. For Yeshua to fulfill all righteousness, he had to keep all of the Torah, and we know he did. The first step was to get baptized in water as the Torah commands. I'd like to be clear on my channel about salvation. You are saved from your sins by grace through faith in Yeshua our Messiah. He paid the price for all sins and has given us a way of everlasting life. His righteous blood covers us and redeems us from sin and death. But does that give us the license to sin freely now? No. Once you put your trust in Yeshua, you will automatically have a renewed heart and want to live like Him. How do we live like Yeshua? By obeying the Father and obeying His Torah. Hence, you're practicing righteousness. Romans 3.31, do we then nullify the Torah through faith? May it never be. On the contrary, we establish the Torah. Subscribe if you like my videos, and I hope this channel blesses you. Thank you, and Shalom.